Hello everybody and welcome back to Guanara, where we are currently attempting to get some food into the province of Axum, and it's going interestingly. We're also trying to befriend Keperkare Ahmed, and we're going to give him a large amount of our personal wealth. There we go. Hopefully he'll become friends with us, but we really need him to become friends with us because uh, that's not going so well. Now, we're mostly unrest on unrest because he's on Bleed Them Dry. Hang on, can we change this? For Kataba, I want it to be... Like, he's all of Arabia Felix over here, but I want this one to be more... Not really bleed them dry, but more acquisition of wealth. I think. Yeah, we'll do that. That's on cultural conversion, which is fine. Okay. That all looks good. Excellent. So now, hopefully, the province loyalty will be coming back up. I think it will, with this next month tick. We're very close. Okay, we're now friends with him. There are, there are barbarians up over here in the Hadramut Desert. That is a slightly spooky cohort. We're going to have to redirect two armies to deal with this, I believe. Well, let's just head up over here. Yep, that is expected that they are going to do that sort of thing. Luckily, we are well drilled. Could make this be a tribal vassal, but no, we're not going to negotiate with him. <laughs> Why would we do that? Axum is almost done with its provincial improvement, and we could put more cohorts into the Tanin army, but we're going to need this manpower. There's no doubt about that one. So let's go ahead and grab, say, I think we go for army morale recovery. There we go. Now, are we able to get up here? Not before they pillage this, that's for sure. Yep, but we will be up in this area, and we're pincering them now, so that should be fine. Please support my heir. And let's check up over here. We can now import fish here, or vegetables again. And I think we import vegetables again. Monthly food plus three. Okay, so we're still going down. And it looks like we can only do the one investment. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so this guy's incompetent. Of course he is. We could have him gain loyalty, and we'd be essentially paying this off. Sure. On the month tick, we will uh, we'll go up above zero, so that should be fine. Okay. So they're just continuing to pillage, but they're taking attrition at the same time. Which is actually good for us. And we're just going to fight them. And we have them completely pincered off here. And they're not happy about it. Get in there and reinforce. There we go. Should have no problem with this. Yep, no worries whatsoever. We technically didn't even need the second army here. come out over this direction. This army can siege here, and then head back up over to uh, the Alamat. That'll be the place for it to be. Really, they're going to take... They were able to pillage Harai before we could get there. We started moving on the same day they did. 
That's a little shocking, actually. Okay. Where are they going? Down over this way. Come over and get her eye. They are going into Sarun. We haven't stack wiped them yet. But we will soon enough. Of course. <laughs> this guy was caught red-handed. Um, our consort would lose loyalty. That's okay. Okay, they're going back into there. That's fine. They can go back to Harai. Now, Axum is also currently losing, or rather, Hadramut Orientalis is currently gaining food. So that's okay. We still haven't stack wiped these guys. Let's send you on back to Sana. And we'll see how these barbarians get taken care of up over here. We are still losing some troops, which is unfortunate, but we should be okay, I hope. Okay, we stack wiped them. Fantastic. Head on home. We'll rebuild our manpower that we lost, and with any luck, I mean, Axum is currently completely out of food. I guess we can try building a granary. We're at 1.67 right now, and we'll just see if changing the food capacity also changes the food recovery rate. Maybe it will. We can get a military tradition here, and that's a lot of monthly general loyalty. Okay. And we also got learning from the best. I guess you get the last one for free? Maybe? We need to call down an omen. There is not an omen for food. Interesting. Well, or a Telt it is. Holy Axum. That's a lot of... That's a lot of chariots you've got there, Axum. 68 cohorts. That is insane. Okay. If that's the way you want to do things, I guess I'm okay with it. So we're going to be gaining some manpower... But I just, I'm very interested to see, now it's 0.87. Senuid reforms, huh? This guy wants to modernize our armies. National unrest for 10 years? Do it. I feel like that's worthwhile. Okay, we can get a new invention. And do we care about any of these? Not really. I guess we'll just go down the list. It's interesting that Axum is now down to 0.87. Food, re or food per month that it's losing. And now it's actually gaining food. Hang on. Did Pops die? Maybe Pops died here? This is now down to point zero two seven. So how much food is Aduli generating right now? Negative 0. 0.462. Let's keep an eye on this. Okay, let's let a month tick happen. Okay, as expected, a granary did not produce food. So that's good to know. We're now gaining food here, but I think we maybe had Pops die? I don't know. Maybe.
We're losing food over here because our import route went away. So we will just import some fish and vegetables. That should give us some food there. Hadramut Orientalis is doing okay. Kataba is still losing loyalty, though. Right, because we have that uh, plus one unrest. So, the, re the, the thing we want to do about this is probably buff up our stability. So let's go into our religion here and do a sacrifice to the gods. And in fact, I'm going to do a second one. And we're going to work up our stability a little bit. So that should be fine. And let's go ahead and recruit in a unit of skirmishers right here. Should be fine as well. This army is actually getting pretty close to being fully ready to go. These armies are not being drilled, and they definitely should be. There we go. Oh. How rude. So the general of the Hadramut army pillaged the, uh, the village here. That is not okay. It has to be decimation. Unacceptable. Completely and totally. So that lost us 2,000 manpower. That's not the end of the world, but it definitely could have gone better. <laughs> no doubt about that. These guys are at 44 cohorts, 28,000 manpower right now. Now we should definitely expect that their cohorts are going to be substantially stronger than ours. Let's go ahead and grab... I guess this will have to do. Yeah, that should be fine, I hope. Um, Windows, are you... Okay, there we go. Windows decided to minimize the game there for, like, a couple seconds. I don't know why. <laughs> but we appear to be good now. Okay, so, Hadramut Orientalis, Axum is actually losing food again. That's interesting. The governor policy appears to be on borderlands. Maybe we should go for... Encourage trade for local monthly food modifier? Yes. That's definitely what we should do. Swap over to that, and now we're gaining food again. Perfect. I mean, it's not a lot of monthly food modifier, but it's something, I guess. Let's go ahead and recruit in another unit of skirmishers here. This would definitely be done if we hadn't have had those barbarians. But I guess it'll have to... it'll have to be okay. So we need 5k more manpower here. I'm actually just gonna go ahead and recruit all of them. There we go. And then we'll wait to start recruitment over here until we are recovered from that. I just want to get those drilling ASAP. I mean, realistically, we could recruit these over here as well. Like so. And then... Like that. And now we should definitely wait. At least until we're over 10k. And then once we're over 10k, we could theoretically just recruit in all of the light infantry at once. And then bank up from there. That would be fine. Certainly not the end of the world. Only three more inventions left, and we are going to be having basically all of our advances at a very similar time. 603 to 604. Like, late 603 to 604. So in about five years, we're going to have more advances, and that is going to allow us to build roads, and that is going to be very important. We are definitely going to need to build a road network, because we cannot get around very quickly, as it is right now. And if we were able to, we would be dominating on a far higher level. So our drilling over here is going reasonably well. 
And as far as this goes, this army is honestly almost ready. Like, we basically have the manpower to recruit this in. We'd be lacking currently one unit of skirmishers. How are we doing on money? We're actually doing quite well, considering we just increased our army size pretty heavily. Our high priest wants to convert to Mutt. And they're proposing that we move citizens from Guara to Demut. Yeah, go ahead and do it. I'm okay with this. Okay, we need like one to two... Actually, we need two more month ticks is what we need before we can get all of our skirmishers, but we can do this. So we need one more unit of skirmishers. We're doing okay as far as maintenance costs go. For right now, anyway. There we go. Now we have no manpower right now, but that's fine. We're not planning to declare for a little bit. For one thing, Axum has no manpower. Actually, they're gaining some. Interesting. At the very least, though, we need to wait for this last fortress to finish. At least a year bare minimum. So there's all of our recruitment done, and we're still making a pretty decent chunk of money. It's going to go down a little bit more as they get into the drilling, but that should be fine. We should have plenty of headroom there. Yeah, definitely. Completely fine. Excellent. So if these guys really only have 44 cohorts... That's interesting. We should expect that they are probably going to hire mercs with that amount of money that they have, though. And that could potentially be a problem for us, especially at our current levels of manpower. But once we take this territory here, like, I feel like we should probably start working on our claim. Province of Mero. Which is, of course, containing this here. So we're starting on that claim. We'll go ahead and grab this, I guess. This invention. That'll be fine. And we're gaining food in Axum and Hadramut Orientalis. So perfect. Okay, well, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And next episode, we are going to be probably finalizing some of our preparations to fight a loot. See you all then.